What's up guys, it's Dexter here, and the expansion's coming out on the 10th, so I've just been messing around with weird decks. I've actually deranked to like 15, but Disguised Toast Pirate Murloc deck looks like a lot of fun. It's pretty crazy. It is super expensive. It runs a lot of legendaries like Greenskin, Finja, Patches, Tarim, um, as well as some epics, but... 10,000 dust, you guys might not be able to play this, but I just want to play some fun. So go ahead and check this out. Um, I will link to it below. I'm just going to jump into a game here. Maybe we can have some fun with this deck. Um, I, I don't know about pushing to Legend right before the expansion. It's coming out on the 10th, so next Thursday, I believe it is. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Just not feeling the, the push here. But maybe I should push before, I don't, whatever. Regardless, we're going to be looking for, for cheap drops here. We want Inquisitor. Inquisitor is great. Tidecaller is great. We don't really want weapons. If we had a uh, Dread Corsair in our hand, maybe the weapon wouldn't be bad. But eh, I, I'm not feeling the weapon too much. This is great, though. We get a sick mulligan here. We're going to start off with Tidecaller. Or maybe not, because this will just kill it. So we'll go ahead, we'll start with Chum. We'll go Chum into maybe Inquisitor here. Uh, maybe the Chum goes on the Inquisitor. No, it goes on the Tide Caller. So we have to decide here if we want to coin out the Inquisitor. I don't think so. I think we're going to hold on to coin here. Because now this is 2-3, it's not going to be able to be killed by Mistress. Um, maybe Chum could have killed the Mistress, but obviously not. He just got Mortal Coiled. So we could go Tide Collar, Coin, Inquisitor, which is a decent play. Maybe he won't be able to handle this. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we get a 3 3 and a 1 3 for 2 mana. Pretty sick. Hopefully uh, he doesn't destroy our board here. Doomsayer, okay. Doomsayer is not going to be enough because we have the War Leader. Just dropping the War Leader makes this a six drop or a six attack, and then we'll be able to clear this easily. So we might as well just maintain our board state. He will be able to clear board pretty easily with something like a Hellfire next turn, which will suck. But we're not we're not too worried about it. Is this it? There it is. Okay. So we get to throw out South Sea Captain, which is going to pull Patches. So we're going to have a 2-2, two -two, a 1-1, one -one, and a 3-3. Three -three. Going to hold on to the coin here. Next turn, we can coin out the Steed, which is an amazing card. Maybe he can't uh, deal with our board here. Well, that kind of sucks, but it's not too big of a deal. We'll go ahead and coin out the Steed on this, just so we can clear this with one hit. And then go face. Um. Oh, Siphon Soul is pretty good here. But we still have a decent board and rock pool. We can rock pool true silver at this point, which might as well. And the divine favor is really good here. Cause this guy's trying to hold on to his hand and we're gonna be able to vomit our hand out and divine favor. So we're not worried at all about him having a big hand. It actually helps us in a way. We could just kill that with true silver and then equip the vine cleaver. Okay, well we got rid of Draxus, so I guess that's all right. But this does suck. Um, just because this huge taunt here. But we'll go ahead. We're going to clear this. We'll take the damage to face with that since we're not worried about our health. We'll equip the Vine Cleaver. And um, I guess we go ahead and, and lose some, some people here. Uh, we'll lose a Murloc. Or we could clear these two here and then... Ch -ch -ch. Well, we won't be able to kill this. Okay, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking we just kill the turtle. I could smack this dude once here, and then he can kill us the next turn. 
But I think I'm gonna leave patches on the board. I could have done that differently. We could have cleared the Fellhound and left the Turtle up just to play around something like a Primordial Drake, which I didn't think he would be running. But I guess I should have expected it. We'll give the Drake one whack though. And we'll go ahead and throw down a Tidal Hand. If we top deck Terum, it's gonna be huge. I almost don't want to equip that Rallying Blade. Oh, another, wow. Okay. Well, we get to, we get a Finja into here and if it pulls a War Leader, maybe we can live? If I Rock Pull it. If it, oh no, it'd have to pull two. Actually, that's a mistake on my part. It'd have to pull two War Leaders. But anyways, we don't pull any, so it doesn't really matter too much. Go ahead and hit this. And do we want a divine favor? For duty. I don't think so. I think he's he's out of board clears maybe, possibly. So we want to get full value out of this vine cleaver. Um, hopefully we top deck Tarim. Okay, that's a lot of taunts. So yeah, Tarim again would be insane. No Terum. Okay. We got a free Corsair though. That's pretty cool. We'll go with the Corsair since he's free. Um, this is going to spawn two minions, so we want to kill one of these. We can kill the chum here. We'll give this dude a whack. Um, maybe we, we're going to equip and divine favor here. Going to get us three cards. Still no Terum. Oh man, whatever, okay. We do get to Megasaur though, that's pretty cool. This is pretty good. We get to, to do it on two of our Murlocs, and Wind Fury seems good. I'm gonna go with Wind Fury for that extra damage. Death Rattle wouldn't be bad if he does get a board clear. So maybe we do go with the, with the Living Spores actually. Or Divine Shield also does the trick. I'm gonna go with Living Spores. It's very likely that we'll get Terum. So if we had Wind Fury, we could have done an extra three damage. He'd be at four, and then we could probably kill him next turn, unless he does have the AOE board clear, which is what I'm playing around. Because we win regardless. If he doesn't have board clear, we're good. All right. Okay, so we win. We got the damage for this. Cool. So I felt like we weren't running out of steam there. We just had, with the divine favor, it's like if you, you don't run out of steam, you throw your cards out, you get divine favor, you draw back in. And uh, yeah, it just, it just plays like a normal classic aggro paladin. Seems pretty cool so far. If you guys, hey, if, if, if you like the video, like, sub, share, you know, all that good stuff. All right. Shaman here might be a little more competitive than a Warlock. We do want our one drops and our two drops. So we'll keep the chum. We'll get rid of these three. Hydrologist isn't great on two, but, you know, it's not bad. There's Tarim. We needed him last, last game, man. Okay. It's chum on one. Hydra on two. On three, we could coin out Megasaur. Or, you know, our plan could change. Greetings, friend. Oh, he gives well, us greetings. This is not common. Oh, God. Okay. Um, so he seems to be token evolve. Or he could be Jade Elemental still. Um, we'll go ahead and just start with the chum. It's going to buff our Hydro to a 3-3. Three, three. Which is pretty nice. Next turn, probably gonna try and keep his board clear as much as possible. We wanna control the board. If we lose the board, we probably lose the game. Okay, so maybe we go with South Sea here. I'm feeling the coin South Sea, mostly because we can run patches into the Firefly, prevent him from you know developing his board. 
Um, I like that option, so we're going to go with that. We could do the Hydrologist on turn three, which um, is going to let us also play the Secret. And the Secret, I'm thinking either Get Down or um, Redemption. Oh. He's probably going to clear the Captain, right? Yeah. This, I don't know about this totem. We're just going to have to leave that up. I don't like this. He'd be able to clear us with, like, Maelstrom's um, Rallying Blade on turn four will allow us to do Rallying Blade and Dread Corsair. We're still going to stick with the Hydro here. Yeah, we're going to stick with this. And I was thinking Redemption, but I think we're going to go with Repentance here. Or we could go Getaway Kodo. If Patches dies, we'd be able to throw it out with Tarim. Um, This one's a little... I'm going to go with Getaway here. And yeah, I don't care who goes back in our hand at this point. I feel like the other options were also good. But I don't know. Re Getaway Kodo just seemed right. If he uses some removal... We're just going to get our guy back. There it is. Okay. So we'll get another secret. See, if it had been Redemption, it'd come back as a 2-1. We could clear his Jade Golem. So it'd still be pretty good. Um, should we go True Silver instead of Rallying Blade? I think we might. No. You know what? We're just going Rallying Blade. That's enough. It's good enough for me. We'll clear the Jade Golem. He's still going to have the Wrath of Air Totem. And we're going to go face. I'm not hitting this because if he does roll Totem, he gets Healing Totem. It's just going to heal up. Maelstrom Portal doesn't clear us. Okay. Lightning Storm. We do want to start developing our board so we can get a sick um, Tarim here. So we'll go, we can go Hero Power, Inquisitor, Hero Power, or we can go Inquisitor, Hydro, Hero Power. And I think I like the Hero Power, Inquisitor, Hero Power. Just because we don't need, we don't need the, the, the Hydro, the extra 2-2. Two, two. We're not going to play the secret or anything. And I think I'm going to clear the 1-1 one, one here. He probably has Maelstrom Portal, probably going to clear us. Um, so that'll that'll suck. No? Okay. He's not going to do that. So I do like the Tarim here. But I also feel like we can go a little bit wider. We could wait for the Tarim for a later turn. I like the true silver so we can clear his board. Um, clear that 3-3. Three, three. We could also clear the uh, spell power. And we can drop a hydro. Or we could just go Megasaur here. I think I like the hydro Megasaur on second thought. And let's go ahead and get a... Uh, I think Repentance could be good here. I think he's going to be pulling out some big minions later. So we'll go for Repentance. Um, and then we'll go Megasaur. Do we want 1 1? I think 1 1's pretty solid here. Divine Shield's pretty good as well. The health is also nice. Um, we'll go with the health. That way he can't clear it with these two guys. And then hopefully they stick around to next turn where we can hit him with the Tarim. The battle! So we'll just clear this and hit him in the face once. Just hoping he has no way to clear this board so we get a really nice Tarim. I am worried about the Drake on turn 8. Oh, he is going to clear. Okay. 
Well, we could continue to go board um, an Inquisitor with a Tidal Hand or a Tide Caller with Tidal Hand and True Silver. I think we need to continue to go board. Um, yeah, so we're going to do this. I do want to clear that. So we're going to clear this. And then go a little bit wider here. I am worried about that Drake. I am worried. So maybe we go with this and Repentance. We'll clear the 3-1 with the 1-1. And then with this, we'll just go face. He is going to be able to clear this. God, but I'm... That Drake, I don't know. I feel like maybe we should have teramed on an earlier turn. I feel, like, I feel like he's playing around my tarim. He knows what we're going for. I think. And uh, he's not letting me go wide. He's going wider than I can. Which is kind of messing with us here. Grimscale Chum's a little bit useless. We can clear one of these, which we might as well. Um, don't know about hitting anything with that. We're just going to wait. Hopefully next turn we can go a little bit wider. Uh, Divine Favor would be nice here. God, this guy is just... What the hell? Who runs that many Stone Sentinels? All right, um, so we have, no, we have no board. And we have no AoE clear, which I think is a downside of this deck, no AoE clear. So we'll just vomit out the board here. Hopefully his Megasaur gets a good adapt. Uh, I was hoping for the Death Rattle. I guess we're gonna have to go with Poison here. Um, or instead of Poison, we can just go three attack. We'll go three attack. He's probably just gonna clear with the, the one health minions. Or do a lightning storm. This guy's just got us handled, guys. We're going to concede this one. I see no way of us coming back because we don't have a board clear. So if, if you lose board with this, I feel like it's over. I probably should have teramed on an earlier turn. I think I got a little bit greedy. I wanted to, you know, continue expanding before I hit the tarim for like a devastating tarim. But instead, we got a little bit wrecked. So a little bit greedy. Not not going to be greedy like that. We shouldn't be greedy like that. Go ahead and hit Tarim. If they got three minions and you got two minions, just plop it down. All right. Another Shaman. Maybe we just struggle against Shaman. They can go wide so easily. Going to get rid of all these. I don't like Hydrologist as a two drop. Two mana, two, two is not a big deal. As a three drop, um, three mana, you get to play secret and a two, two is, is a little bit better. Just not a big fan on turn one. And oh my god, we drew patches, which is not great. Um, do I want to drop patches? I don't think so. I'm going to hold on to them. Maybe wait for a turn where we have South Sea or uh, maybe a Tarim so we could just throw them out. We're going to have to rock pool on two because we have nothing else. Don't want to reinforce. It's a little bit too slow. We do want to control the board. Okay. Does he have coin flame tongue? No? Okay. But he is going super wide. Look at that. My goodness. We'll just... Maybe we use our patches to clear his patches. We're going to go ahead and clear... We'll clear the pirate, because why not? And then we'll, we'll go patches into his patches. Just because, yeah, we don't want him going wide. We don't want him getting a flame tongue there and throwing his his patches into our rock pool hunter. He can throw these guys into him, but we just don't want so much value. Jade Lightning? All right. Got a Megasaur here? I think we want Wind Fury. Or we could go Chum into War Leader and Megasaur on the next turn, but I think that's being too greedy. We're just gonna go this. Um, Wind Fury would've been great, but we'll take the Divine Shield and uh, we'll just clear one of these. Yeah, 
It is a little rough. I feel like this deck would be really good against control archetypes, but we're just seeing very aggro archetypes, which is weird. Um, before I started making this video, I was just seeing a bunch of control. I was seeing ramp and control paladin, and now we're just seeing aggro, which is odd. I wonder. Thinking next turn is going to be chum war leader turn. Unless we draw something that fits our curve nicely, Finja would be great. Greenskin wouldn't be bad. True Silver would be pretty good as well. What to do? Maybe he's a slower sort of shaman, more mid range Jade Elemental. I don't think so. Okay. Is he not going to clear? Continuing to go face. Okay, interesting. We'll go double chum into war leader. Might as well drop the war leader, right? Um, and then we'll just clear his board because we don't want him getting sick value. And who do we clear with? We're gonna clear, we'll clear this and we'll clear this. Um, not too worried about the healing totem. I'd rather, if I would have cleared only one of those and the healing totem, he could have ran the other two into one of these. What is he doing? He's got to clear. What? Am I missing something? What the hell? What just, what? What just happened? I don't know. Let's do another game though. I don't think that was a fair example. That was a little bit strange. Uh, don't know what happened. He, uh... That, that was weird. That was weird. Alright. I guess that's how it goes sometimes. Okay, a priest. This is a little more aggressive. Um, I mean, a little more controly, And we're, we're going to be the more aggressive deck. Uh, they might have potions of madness, shadow word pains, which are going to be... Uh, uh, pain in our ass. This is not a great draw. I would have rather had the Hydrologist at this point. But once again, we're not a big fan of Hydrologist, so I, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's get a one drop here. Nope, just kidding. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't have a Cleric, or else we're just going to be way behind. Okay. Oh my god, look at these high... Dr oh my god, this curve <clears throat> is not nice. So go with the um, turn three, Captain or Blade. Captain or Blade. Uh, let's see what he drops. He goes with... What is this? What do you have here, pal? A coin into what? Do you hear it what? All? Okay, we're seeing a uh, Cthulhu. Priest. So dropping the captain, he's just gonna die. I'm gonna go with the blade here. Give him one whack. We are gonna take a bit of damage here. I don't care. I don't care about the damage on my face. He is weird though. Cthulhu. What the fuck? Okay. Well, this is not going well. Um. I'm feeling the South Sea patches into the Elder. And then we're also going to drop the Vilefin here. Yeah, it's going to die. And yeah, he can run the Ooze into the South Sea. But, God, what is this guy? This guy is um, confusing. Oh, my goodness. This guy's got a sick curve. Oh, this guy's going to kick our ass. What do you? What is he crafting here? It's crafty, crafty. Um, we're gonna go with uh, Finja, I guess, at this point. And we're gonna hope that something sticks on the board so we can go ahead and steed it next turn, or tear him. We could just go with the tear him, and we might just go with the tear him. Yeah, I guess we're going with tear him here. 
Or we could true silver. Uh, nope. Well, we could just steed here. Actually, steed's really good. Because this makes this 4 health, or 4 damage, and he can't really deal with that. So we'll go steed, and then we'll kill that. Okay, now he's going to be 5 or 6 damage, and he is going to be easily killed. Damn it. Oh well. So if he Shadow Word deaths here, we're still going to have um, a 2-6, which is going to defend the board, hopefully. If he Dragon Fire Potions, he's not going to be able to clear the board. What do you got, pal? Show us what you got. Kazakus Potion. Okay. Well... He's going to heal it, not attack? Up. Oh. Alright. Okay, dude. I'm not feeling the Tarim here. Um, I do want this green skin next turn, but I want to get the value on the true silver. So I'm feeling the Tide Collar, Hydro, and the true silver. And we're going to take... I like Redemption. I like Repentance also. Um, we're going to go with Redemption. This just gives us a nice tempo swing. Hopefully he doesn't have another ooze in there. This is a weird deck. I honestly don't know what to expect. I don't know if this is standard, but I don't look at priest lists. Good god. Great card there. Hopefully we, we don't lose to a Cthune deck, but I guess it's definitely possible here. Okay, we'll go we'll go green skin. We'll go Corsair. We're gonna go a little bit wide here. Also gonna hit the redemption. Um this is just a battle cry, I'm not gonna worry about clearing that. I'd rather hit him in the face. We need to start going a little bit more aggressive. He's gonna be dropping Cthune here soon, maybe. And uh, we, we wanna destroy him before then. Um another steed would be great. Oh, shit. Tarim, maybe, here? I do like the Tarim here. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to Tarim. So we're going to go this into here. We're going to get a value trade. We're going to hit this face because it does more damage right now. Um, and then we're going to go ahead. We're going to... Nope, we want to do this first. Then we're going to Tarim. We'll go ahead and clear this dude. Wait, do we? Well, let's just go face. And we'll go ahead and heal ourselves as well. I don't think he's going to have a way to clear board. I'm totally just going with a feeling in my heart. Uh, he's probably got something like Dragonfire Potion in there. So we could hit us and then Dragonfire and then we cry. He probably has mind control, but we want to kind of pressure him before turn 10. We also got to be wary of that Cthune that he's obviously running. But he might not have. This might be useless with a Dragonfire. But maybe we just win here if he doesn't have the clear. Do we win it? Do we got it? I feast upon the light. Oh. Okay, nice. We still got a lot of pressure on the board. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We got 15, 19 damage. Almost get the win here regardless. And I think we just pressure. Do I drop the Tide Caller? I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and assume that he does not have a board clear because he would have used it. Unless he top decked it right there. Unless he just top deck some AoE, he doesn't have it. What could he have? Like a 10 mana? Cthune isn't going to be enough to save him. Um, maybe he's got uh, mind control. <laughs> That's not going to be enough. What else could he have? Nothing. Nothing. He, we're good. I think we win. He could have another one of these big heals, which would kind of postpone everything. Oh, that could be an, a taunt or a rag light lord, but just, rag light lord's not enough. It's gonna have to be a big taunt. Or an. Oh, okay, so we win. 
That was a close one. I love Nostradama. I wish that was a useful card. So, there we go. We win that one. So, guys, this deck beats Cthulhu Priest, if you were wondering. Um, it's definitely pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. Fun deck. If you're just trying to... Whoa. If you're just trying to meme around... Just trying to meme around until, uh, you know... Just, just meme around until the new expansion coming out next week. I don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking... I think the meta is getting a little bit stale, a little bit boring right now. So I'm really... I'm ready for that expansion. Because everything is just settling down. And... Uh, whatever. I'm... Like, play some Pirate Murloc, guys. Play some crazy shit. And uh, just enjoy yourself until the, the new expansion. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, sub, share. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace!